So Larry Klayman is the guy who brought the lawsuit uh, where a federal judge said the NSA program was unconstitutional, likely to be unconstitutional. That'll proceed up uh, the chain of the courts, of course, uh, and it might go all the way up to the Supreme Court and we might have a decision. By the way, if the Supreme Court says that uh, Edward Snowden uh, did reveal things that the NSA was doing that was unconstitutional, or wh whichever is the highest court to stop, if that is their conclusion, I assume the United States will say, oh, we're so sorry, Edward Snowden, you were right, what we were doing was unconstitutional, you were allowed to come back into the country, right? Right? Yeah, my guess is that's not what the government is gonna say, because then they'll be even more angry at Snowden. Now, what CNN is doing in this case is, uh, they want to divert your attention and get you angry about Larry Klayman. Now, I've already told you about Larry Klayman the day that the NSA uh, program being ruled unconstitutional broke. Uh, Klayman is a guy I don't agree with at all. I, I think he's crazy in a couple of different ways, right? He, he once said in a Tea Party rally in October uh, that Obama should, quote, put the Quran down, get up off his knees, and figuratively come up with his hands up, right? Uh, he once sued his own mother. Okay, so now, and he has all these conspiracy theories, but the NSA case isn't about Larry Klayman. It's about whether the government did something right or not. Now, mainstream media doesn't want to talk about that. They want to bring in Larry Klayman and make the issue about Larry Klayman, just like with WikiLeaks. Oh, don't worry about what the government did and how we killed innocent civilians in that Apache helicopter video and all the out other outrageous things we found out through WikiLeaks. Julian Assange, look over there, he didn't use a condom once. Didn't use a condom once, it's all about Julian Assange. Julian Assange is a, a high-tech terrorist and, uh, and a rapist. See, that, that's how they distract you. That's how this game is played. So here comes CNN to do that to Larry Klayman. Again, I got no love for the guy, but it is a tactic that they're using. Look at the graphics and then listen. Brad Blakeman. I had to sue because he used Freedom Watch's trademark. I asked him to stop. I brought a lawsuit. He's associated with Sheldon Adelson, who I'm sure you don't like, who runs the Venetian Empire in uh, Las Vegas. And he's obviously got an ax to grind on. I think it's important to note that you're a big supporter of Obama. Uh, you have favored him in every respect. You have to try to do a hit piece to diminish a very important decision. Are you talking about Larry me Clayman. personally? But, you know, I'm talking about you personally. Uh, this is I don't a think you know that about you. I don't think you, you can continue on, but that, none of that is true, but go on. Well, it is true, Don. I've watched you for many years. You're an ultra leftist and you're a big supporter of Obama. And the reality is, let's talk about the NSA. Let's not talk about Larry Klayman. This victory is for the American people. It wasn't for me. Now, Larry Klayman is annoying in a hundred different ways. It, it, with the ultra leftist talk, I mean, Look, Don Lemon, we've done segments where he seemed very corporatist to us, right? I don't view him as ultra leftist at all, if he's got any inclination whatsoever, if a CNN anchor has ever had a thought in their mind, which is an open question. Uh, it certainly hasn't been an ultra leftist one, but it doesn't matter. And Clayman also interrupts far too much, which they're about to get in a fight over, and I'm gonna show you that as well. But the gra graphic is, who is Larry Clayman, right? And they bring him in, they're like, how about this lawsuit and this lawsuit, and why did you do all this stuff wrong, right? Because they don't, and, he, and he's right, the core thing that he said there is, look, the point is the NSA, the point isn't me, okay? And when I did the story, I said, yeah, Clayman is like this, but that's great that people we totally disagree with, we can agree on this core issue, and he happens to be right about this. But CNN can't get beyond that. The whole segment is, Larry Clayman, ha ha ha, don't, <laughs> that lawsuit, that can't be true. Larry Clayman brought it, that guy's crazy, <laughs> yeah. So then they get him back and forth in, into this fight. Now, obviously, we edited this to give you the highlights. Uh, and yes, Clayman interrupted a lot, and so they had to shut him down. Uh, we'll get into an analysis of this as soon as you watch the rest of the uh, interview here. Listen, I'm not here to get into an argument with you. Nothing you have said has been correct about me or the reason we're doing this story. So you can continue we'll to attack. Decide. Listen, let, will you let me finish, please? I want you to finish. But I am I want you to you. finish. Will you let me finish, okay. or I'm going to cut your mic, and then and, and Jeffrey and I will finish this conversation. Well, that's so that that's is very that is for me to amendment. decide. Thank you very much. This case is based on Larry Clayman's tinfoil hat paranoia about the uh, NSA being after him. You know, and I had differences during the Clinton administration. We certainly like did. Like Don is a big advocate of Obama, you were a big advocate of Sidney Blumenthal, who did everything he could to destroy conservatives <laughs> in the White House. Jeffrey, it's funny. It's Let's funny. just let him it's go. Not funny, let me Jeffrey. Do it. It's not funny, Jeffrey. <laughs> you know, it's not about me, Jeffrey, and the fact that you want to try to do a hit on me shows me that you're not a serious person and frankly should not be doing legal commentary for CNN. 
Obviously, the judge didn't agree with you, Jeffrey. This Listen, is a disgrace. Both of we, your conducts are a disgrace. Oh my gosh, you are. Are you okay? <laughs> no. Are you okay? Yeah, thank you. Can we you get him off, please? Me. Can you please? Can we please remove him from the screen? Great. You're, please you're remove a charter member of the, the ACLU. You believe in free speech, right? Can we please remove him from the screen, producer? Free speech. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, yeah. are you there? I'm here. Continue on. All right, Jeffrey, and to show you, we're going to be the bigger person, bigger people here. We'll give you the last word, sir. Go ahead. Oh, last word is you're not the bigger people. Uh, don't, have it, don't kid anybody. Let anybody watch this and see that CNN removes you from the screen when it doesn't like what you think. And you know what? You're not CNN, Don, and Tubin, you're not CNN. No, actually, they are CNN. Uh, they uh, brought you on to do exactly what they did to you. And the uh, producers of that show knew it, and everybody at CNN knew it. It doesn't go all the way up the chain. It's not like Jeff Zucker sitting around saying, oh, how should we do that particular segment on Don Lemon's show? But that's the general idea behind CNN. You support the government, and anyone who's against the government, even if a federal judge has ruled in their favor, you could bring them on and you mock them, right? And now, look, Clayman's a terrible face for this case, and he's easy to mock uh, because he, one, he sa does say outrageous things from time to time. And number two, they're right, he won't shut up. And I've had guests like that, it drives me crazy. So I don't blame Don Lemon for take, cutting his mic and taking him off for a while, right? And, and Clayman like, loses the audience when he does that. But again, the core of what Clayman is saying is backed by the federal judge and is actually correct. And what did Tubin say? I mean, there it was in a nutshell how CNN wants to deal with this. He said, oh, no, no, Clayman's case is about Clayman's tinfoil hat conspiracy theories about how the NSA is looking in on. So ignore the fact that the judge has ruled the program unconstitutional or likely unconstitutional because it's going to go through uh, more proceedings. Forget that core fact and said, oh yeah, Clayman's an idiot. He wears a tinfoil hat. He does conspiracy theories. So the NSA must be right. Now, Tubin is legendary for supporting the NSA's program. Can't, can't stand Edward Snowden, thinks he handled everything the wrong way. He's gotten into many different debates with Glenn Greenwald on CNN and thinks, uh, you know, Snowden should turn himself in and be in prison for a long, long time. And so it looks like the judge disagrees with Tubin, and that Tubin, at least for the moment being, is on the wrong side of the law, it appears. But no, 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 Clayman's crazy. No, forget about how wrong I was. Forget about how most Americans don't agree with me. I will support the government and say the people who are against the government wear tinfoil hats.